and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. We continue our journey through Entra ID using the Terraform provider. Last time we set up groups and group membership using the object ID, and we looked at how leveraging for each over maps eliminated some resource churn when we just used lists and the count meta argument. Today we're going to be declaring war on GUIDs which is kind of a weird thing to do on the channel dedicated to Azure, since GUIDs are everywhere. But we don't want GUIDs in our code or in our infrastructure as code, especially. There's nothing more confusing for a future author, whether it's yourself or somebody else, to come back, look at your code and see some random GUID and be like, what the crap is this? I did foreshadow this a little bit last episode, so this should be no surprise. So without further ado, let's drop in and remove those GUIDs. So if you recall, I had set up lists representing the users that I wanted included in these groups. And looking at these two lists, uh, you and me both probably don't have a very good idea of who's in these groups. So we're, to, we're here to fix that today. Now, the reason why we had to have these object IDs or these GUIDs in here is because when we set up the group membership, the group member resource took a member object ID. And so we need to have an object ID at some point in order to create that relationship between the group ID and the user ID. But let's try and find a user-friendly way of doing that. Now, these users already exist. So in Terraform, when there's something that already exists, what do we use? A data source. So let's go over to the documentation, pull up a data source for our user. And look at that. I can look up a user using a user principal name. That's pretty darn convenient. Let's go grab that and see what we can do with this thing. So for starters, I'm just gonna put it right here. I've got my Azure AD user, and now I need to get the principal name. So for starters, let's go change the inputs so that we're not using these GUIDs anymore. Uh, and then we'll update this to for each across our map of users. So if I go look at Kaiser, I can find Kaiser and his email and his principal name is like this. So if I go in here and um, I, okay, I cheated. Um, I know who one Bravo Bravo 48870 is. You probably don't. Um, but uh, yeah, the magic of television, folks. So I'm just gonna pub, I'm just gonna put Kaiser in here, and then we are going to go look up myself. Oh, and look at that! I have a very complex principal ID as well, so we'll just drop that in there. And there we go. I got admin users and I got reader users. In this case, they just happen to be the same. Uh, not, nothing to see here. Not a big deal. And so now I've got my Azure AD underscore user, uh, which is my data source for my readers that are going to go into my readers block. And I need to iterate across this local. So I'm basically going to steal this. I'm going to steal it for each block. And then I'm going to use each dot key to replace the principal ID because now my input is a list of email addresses or principal names. And I'm using this data source to go look up that user using that principal ID. Um, and now what I need to do is I, instead of uh, directly referencing this key here, now I'm still going to iterate across my reader users. But in, in this case, I'm going to actually use the data source and I need to prefix it with data. I always forget that. Um, and I'm going to use the each.key in order to access the correct instance of that from my collection. Now, this is a reference to an object, and that object has attributes on it. In order to understand what attributes are on it, I need to go RTFM. So you can see here, these are all the attributes that I can grab off of it. Employee ID, mail, mail nick, object ID, and that's what we need. So this is a little bit of piping in order to get from one data point to another. And this is pretty much all that I need. Now I can take this and I can copy pasta and I can throw this into admin users. And all I have to do is change this uh, to admins and we'll change this to admin users. And then we're gonna change this reference we still need each dot key, but we need to reference the data source and then admins. And why did that make that go away? And then the object ID. And I think we should be good here. So let's try this again. Oh, what do we do? Reader, did I? 
Is it plural? Yeah, it's readers. Let's see. Even, even when I follow my own naming conventions, um, I still make mistakes. Naming conventions that are by design to help reduce the number of those mistakes that you make. And so here uh, we, are at, we are adding four things and four things to destroy. Um, now that's interesting. Ah, so because we're changing the key from the GUID, the reason why these things are being destroyed, even though they have the same value, um, is that the key that we're saving them in the map is changing from the principal ID or the principal name uh, from the object ID. So now the key is the principal name and the value is the object ID, which makes sense. But ultimately this should, this should not change anything at all. There we go, we're all done. So just like that, this was a very quick episode. Um, just like that, using that data source, we were able to very easily um, change like from a very unreadable uh, collection of GUIDs to a very readable uh, collection of users, right? Um, I, can, I can very quickly tell who this person is um, just by reading their email address. Because um, I think email is a pretty common way, uh, at least within the enterprise, of referencing who that person is um, within the company. So, so that's it. We declared war on GUIDs and we won. We replaced a bunch of embedded GUIDs with an RTFRs file and we replaced them by using Terraform data sources. Our future selves and other authors will definitely thank us and bless our name to the heavens. Anyways, next episode, we're going to make an enhancement to how we manage group owners. And then after that, we got an exciting episode where we modularize this and wrap this up. I hope you stay with me here on Azure Terraformer. That's it for me today. This is the Azure Terraformer signing off.